Burn Thunder is not really doing too well. Of course, you have the, you know, stuff of India, but the movie opened with $15 million at the box office. It is behind Ragnarok, which is bad. It is behind Doctor Strange. Again, Doctor Strange is a more better comparable number because, of course, Doctor Strange came out this year. But, but all metrics say it's behind Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which is not that good as well. It isn't that good for this movie. The movie is expected to open play around 145 to 155 million, which is, again is 20% behind Doctor Strange, 20% behind Doctor Strange. Ragnarok opened to 122 million dollars. The event is if any war and stuff as well, 4.8 billion worldwide. You know, it's expected to pick up around 150 million dollars at its opening weekend. The global debut is 300 million dollars. Okay. This movie needs to make around seven hundred million dollars to break even. Okay, seven hundred million dollars. So Ragnarok ended at around eight hundred fifty million dollars. But if this movie does does as badly as uh, does as does okay, for Ragnarok, for Ragnarok did pretty well. But this movie does does worldwide like Ragnarok does again, you know, it's gonna be the same thing with the other movie. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange didn't really have much competition, but yet stop Drop 60%, 60% each week. Same thing with Radio. I figure you can see the same thing with Four of and Thunder. This movie's gonna drop 30% its second weekend. And yes, it'll probably drop 50% every other weekend, but that 30% drop is the one that is really the most concerning. The second weekend drop. The second weekend drop is the most concerning. The critics don't like this movie that much. Of course, you have, you know, your Disney fanboys, your Marvel defenders. Basically saying this movie is a complete masterpiece. You have to see it. You know, it's made by Disney. You can't dislike Disney. You can't dislike the Disney machine, the Disney agenda. Okay. Of course, this movie is going to beat Minions in the second weekend. That's probably guaranteed. As well, which only has, this right now only has Elvis here. But yeah, Minions will probably end up around 60 to 50 million dollars, probably, you know, even maybe 70 million dollars, the way it's rigging out. But, yeah, if you put Minions, will put it all spun in the Rise of Gru. So yeah, the Rise of Gru, which currently has really good rigs at the box office. This is the rigs for Rise of Gru. Okay, if you compare it to White Year, it's doing way better than White Year. And it has been dropping 30% to 23%. So, I think a probably 30 to 40% drop second weekend, that's like Top Gun, is pretty likely for this movie. See, of course, if it gets not going to have the same rigs, the same rigs as Top Gun. Well, but I think this movie is going to eventually make its way to a billion dollars. Top Gun did that as well. And... You see that no Disney movie has made a billion dollars yet. No Disney movie. I think no Disney movie this year will make a billion dollars. This is Top Gun's numbers currently. Okay. $1.12 billion. Something that no Disney movie this year has hit. White Year didn't hit. Doctor Strange didn't hit. Okay. And four of them for the most likely hit. And of course, Avatar 2, there's a likely chance that that won't hit a billion dollars too. No matter how much James Cameron will defend that movie. Okay. You know, it's going to be woke, it's going to be not good, and it's going to be boring, just like the first movie. The first movie it wasn't that great, so why would I return for a second, for, for a sequel? We also have the Blu-ray sales, where well, the Batman's doing pretty okay at the sales as well, but again, no one's buying Turning Red on Blu-ray. This is the sales for Turning Red. Turning Red is not doing too well on Blu-ray, okay? It isn't, okay? People act like Tony Red's is greatest, one of the greatest movies of the year. It is not. No one's buying it. No one's buying Tony Red on Blu-ray. And you have to basically about this video. Goodbye.